In this video, I want to share an example of how you can use your line mark in a drawing in order to search out and understand the anatomy of the figure. This is an exercise where you get to allow a very loose line to sort of figure out your drawing for you instead of relying on construction lines. Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Siobhan and I share videos about a dynamic and expressive approach to drawing the figure. So each week I share tips and techniques about figure drawing and I share my own process as well. So if you're interested at all in figure drawing, then definitely subscribe here, uh, give this video a like and uh, drop me a comment below as well. I write every week on Substack about figure drawing. I'd love you to join me there as well and I'll leave that link for you in the description. So this demo today is a drawing of a torso study that I did this week. I've been drawing a lot from a model reel over on New Masters Academy and it's a particular model reel that features the amazing life model Andrea Morani. I highly recommend you check it out. Obviously I can't share the photo on my channel because it's not mine to share but I'll definitely leave a link to that pose in the description below. So figure drawing is about the figure, but it's not just about learning rules of anatomy and proportion. You know, it's not just about making a good enough picture of the body. It's also, funnily enough, about drawing. And drawing is a form of expression first and foremost. One way to really understand your own expression, to understand how you express yourself through line, is to practice gesture drawing. And I've got tons of videos on this channel about gesture drawing and exercises that you can do. And I really think gesture drawing is also a very, is a great complement or counterpart to a more formal study of anatomy, one that does focus on proportion and structure. I think that both of these aspects, gesture drawing and expression, as well as proportion and, and anatomy, um, I think they both form a complete drawing skill set. And I made a video last week about that. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link to that. But there is something very freeing and enjoyable about letting go of all of that structure and anatomy and just letting your line wander across your drawing to find out the emphasis in a pose yourself or to find out where you feel that there are points of interest or where your line naturally wants to be in order to say something about the pose. So drawing with this searching line means that you are going to use anatomy as a guide. You know, you're going to sort of eyeball those major landmarks of the body and use them as points to plot as you map out the forms. You don't need to know the details or the structure. Just observing the direction of the torso, the tilt of the shoulder and pelvis, that's enough to guide you across the drawing. You can try to find estimates of the length and the width of the torso by using your line forwards and back. Now, one thing that this sort of searching line does is that it's brilliant to help you to keep constantly referencing one part of the anatomy or one part of the figure against another. This comparison is how you learn to develop a more instinctive understanding of proportion. So while you're drawing one section, you're constantly referencing and comparing it to another section. And using your line work in this way is also a really vital way to stay fresh in your drawing because you're disregarding, you know, what otherwise might be very familiar labels, such as uh, the muscles of the abdomen. Instead of the emphasis being on what is this muscle here? What is the name of it? What is the shape of it as I've learned that shape to be? Instead, you're just way more interested in how your line reacts to what you're looking at. It simply is trying to match your observation or your focus. 
This keeps you firmly engaged in process, not outcome. I think in drawing, process is always much more important than outcome because I truly believe that eventually outcome takes care of itself, but process is first and foremost. The idea then with this exercise is really to train the eye, brain and hand to all work together in sync, in unison. That will unlock your drawing in a very powerful way, if you haven't tried this before. You don't have to worry about the final look of the drawing. If you compare my drawing to the actual model pose, you'll see that there are many ways in which my drawing is completely off compared to the photograph, but it's all about the process. This mapping searching line is really a meditative and very concentrated way of drawing. And if you can tap into that and really feel what it feels like to be totally engrossed in your work, not too worried about making mistakes in the final outcome, then you'll have experienced a drawing mode. That's a way that the brain works where you're able to shut off analytical thought processes and be in the flow of creative processes. I will say, I'll have to admit though, that towards the end of this drawing session, you can see I started to get way more concerned with accuracy of shading and tried to tie down the drawing into a bit more of a correct version compared to the photo or compared to the pose in the video I was drawing from. And I definitely think that something is lost in the looseness of the drawing when that happens. I suppose I am very conscious of, you know, I'm making this drawing for a video, uh, so I did want it to be a bit of a nice picture, and that's why I went kind of into full rendering mode towards the end. But I'm still really keen to share this process with you and to encourage you to pick up your line as a tool, not just as an end product in itself. And I think if you look really closely at this final drawing, apart from the bad shading, there is a great sense of mark making, of a searching line traveling across the drawing. And when you draw like that, that's kind of like a record of you. It's a record of how you look. So use your line to dissect things, to search things out, to figure things out, uh, wrap your line around the shapes and track proportions all the while that you're making a drawing. I hope you try this out even as an exercise, if nothing else, to know that, to know and learn about an alternative way to draw the figure instead of always starting with, you know, perfectly measured construction lines. So let me know in the comments if you do try this. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know if you actually drew this pose as well. Let me know what you think. It's an amazing pose to draw. Uh, leave me any questions or comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my Substack. That link is below in the description. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll look out for you in the next video.